Bit of thin value here with King 8. It is heads up. We have a pair. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is super, super sus. <laughs> oh, I just felt it super, super sus. Turn eight, get us out with a check at least. Uh, we have a draw. We're actually just going to start betting this now. Just going to triple off. We have enough equity. Interesting that we face a small raise here with Ace-10. Uh, not going to go anywhere. We have a pair. Going to start with a call. Not the worst turn. We make two pair. We paired a coin 10 now. 10 eight. Obviously, it doesn't really have 10 8, but uh, who knows what these guys have. Uh, I'm just going to jam this in, actually. We have enough equity. King, queen. Can we get there? Uh, and that is good. Oh, it sucks. Oh, far out. Um, why has he gone so big? Uh, gonna have to think about this one for a couple of secs. Glad this isn't the zone. Um, what are we getting? What's he bluffing with? I just don't see. I just, I just like really. Uh, I really hate my life. Uh, what's he ever bluffing with? It's just a set, isn't it? I think I'm gonna let this go. I don't think he jams queen 10. All right. Oh, that one hurts. Cool. Love to see the three bet. When we have queens here, heads up. Very happy gonna be four bet, get this in. So the small bit C bet on this is ace ace boards. Gonna check now. King high still has a bit of showdown. Good luck, Carson. No aces, no kings. Ace king. That uh, is oh, no ten, no jack. There we go. That's a pop back, boys. And definitely king gets some value here with king x. So gonna go for the half pop. Ace ten, mostly a three bet. Heads up. Pretty good flop. Gonna go with the half up bet. Couple of different things you could do here. You could even like look at potentially just jamming the flop. Uh, I know it's a thing, oh, oh shit, why have I done that? Hopefully this induces. Uh, and we are gonna be checking our range here on these flush completing turns. Obviously with our hand, we're still pretty happy. Someone please, someone please three bet. Please don't punish me. Um, question is, is, do we want to check jam or do we want to check call? Think we're not too worried about protection, so we're just going to check call. Going to be interesting to see, and we do just win it there, which is pretty good. Going to start with a check here as well, now that we've misclicked pre. Wonder what he had. 7-5, interesting choice to stab the turn. Obviously, he thought we had a bunch of other, he was looking for some protection. Pretty reasonable. And queen two, gonna start with a check. Probably do have to fold ace king now. This is rather unfortunate, but uh, that's what happens when you min raise a limp. Uh, five, six is actually gonna be a three bet sometimes, but uh, we've rolled pretty low, so gonna start with the call. Yeah, we're gonna just fold this on the one liner. Is what it is. Uh, a couple of different things we could do here. I am gonna go for the over bet. Uh, no, actually we're just gonna go three quarters, I think. I think I think that's a bit of sizing. All three sizes make a ton of sense here, so I uh, just pretty indifferent. Just depends how you want to play your range. Uh, gonna go for some thin value. Obviously, 7x does beat us. And gonna be folding here with the ace nine. 
And we did get cold, bit of value. Um, okay, gonna be min opening, not what we wanted to do, but gonna go with a small C bet here. Uh, actually, yeah, I was gonna half pop. And uh, we're gonna just start pumping money in here. Uh, these boards, you really wanna just like pumping money with your overpairs. Um, Uh, gonna call this and gonna be overbetting this. Ah, oh, that was meant to be a larger size, but. And gonna just be checking now. 8.6 is good. Sizing by us is not fantastic. Oh, this is a shit river. Oh, yucky, 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 yucky. Well, we're gonna click this three quarters button and hope not to get raised. Please don't jam. <laughs> no jam, sir. Just call ace eight. All right, foldy sign two. All right, a six is an open. Uh, we can mess around a bit. Um, gonna go for the half pot bet. Normally go for like on these like nine high boards. If the bottom two cards are below a five, go for half pot. If they're over a five, um, the top two, we go for a pot size bet. Um, it's just normally how it works. Uh, it's Jack three. Can't do a ton of C bet in here, but um, they rolled pretty high. Got to be a little bit careful here. You know, these ace high boards aren't as good for the three better in these positions as you think. Uh, or like, you know, we don't have any overpairs anymore. So it's just not as great. And on this flush completing turn, like this hand just cannot deal with the check raise. So we are going to be checking back. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Probably calling a lot of bets. Please don't jam. <laughs> jam, jam, would be, jam would really suck. Still no action at zone. Oh, that's uh, actually, this is actually interesting. Because I really would like to raise is is the real thing. And I think we're gonna have to fold this. Um, but I'm gonna be a knit and call. Ace Queen definitely raise, but Ace Jack is yeah. It's just yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> it feels like um you're just letting them see so many like cheap showdowns with stuff like that. But um you know, it would just be like really, really like way too like way too thin to raise and I'd just really yeah. Uh, oh, uh, it's not the best size we wanted, but it is completely fine. Uh, not going to be barreling here with the king eight. We could potentially, but uh, we are going to start with a check. I'll go with a check on the turn. Checking back our ace high as well. And question is, is can we get some value? I actually think we can. Bit of thin value here with King 8. It is heads up. We have a pair. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm pretty sure this is super, super sus. <laughs> oh, I just felt it super, super sus. Uh, it's just a non-believer. Um, oh, we're gonna go for the check raise here. Always nice when you pick one off. And we do take down another pot up there. Gonna start with a call with Jacks down here. He checked back fives. He actually had a boat up there. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Get to be three, but in the jack four. All right, getting this second table going. Uh, yeah, 32 gigs of RAM is like more than enough to run Pio. That's like totally, totally fine. Um, I, you only need like 64 if you want to do some like really complicated, like you, you want to be doing like heads up sims with like a bunch of different sizes. Um, so like, to, like I've, I've run some heads up stuff. It's, it, it is interesting to look at, um, but you, you just don't need it. Like 64 is like overkill um, and anything higher, you're, you're only doing preflop solves. Uh, seven, eight is going to be a three bet here quite a bit actually. And uh, nine's going to be three betting. Going to be Colin Jacks here. Could actually consider raising. It's just that like, I'm going to go with a half pop bet here as well. This is just, like I just think we have the best hand here, like always. I guess he could value bet like queen 10. So we are going to call, but oh, we have the same hand. <gasps> uh, seven, eight here. Question is, is can we keep barreling? I don't think we can actually. I think our jack is too dominated. So we are going to check. And we are going to be waging all our chips here. Gonna defend 6 5. Pretty good flop. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I quite like using Pyro in terms of like being able to build out my own trees um, and, you know, work out what's exactly going on. Um, and then, like, you know, it, it's gonna model what I play in game. Uh, we have made a pair. So we are gonna start with a check. Could potentially look for a check jam. Could go for the double check race. We're not going to be folding at least. Uh, it's a pretty big bet. Problem is we could actually just be crushed. I think we won the eight. So we are going to go with a cold. Please check back. Please no jam. Uh, this is pretty curious. We are gonna bluff all our chips here. And we get the fold. Ooh, that one, that one felt, 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 <laughs> felt spicy. <laughs> but we, 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 we have some flushes there, so it's a, it's a pretty good combo to go with. We do face the loom preys. I mean, at least one of these full stacks is a fish then, so it does make me feel a little bit better. Just always feel weird when you get just set by two regs of zone. You're like, huh? But, um, yeah, we are not looking to fold very much here. Obviously, he can have a bunch of hands that beat us, but uh, we have a pair. And pairs are hard to make. No folding yet. And that is a pretty good run out. Yeah, snap call. <laughs> That's filthy. That's actually so disgusting. <laughs> well, well, I do like the call down. Uh, the other <laughs> three days. Uh, it's good to note though, now the guy with 200 big blinds is an absolute punter. So, um, <laughs> it's, He's giving me a run for my money uh, with something like that. So always good to keep in mind when you see something like that. I think it'll be streaming for like another 45 minutes or so, guys. Um, uh, this is versus reg, but we are going to start with uh, the small size. I actually would have picked, oh, it doesn't really matter. Like there's so many things you can do here. If you look at Pi, this is like a big battle check. Um, but like, you know, Pi is just a model. Like it's just like something that you try to use to like, you know, build your own um, trees around. So you can really do whatever you want, um, to be honest, like small bet, big bet, like 15%, 25%, 33%, like range. Um, or you can like, you know, big bet, like pot or like, you know, three quarters um, and play a mixed strategy. Just to, just depends what you want to do. Uh, I like to keep it pretty simple out of position though. Just go for like the small bets. Makes my life easy. Uh, that is, we have a boat. 
Boats are good. Um, Vegas in the Mirage. Good luck, us. Bet, check, bet. We're going to call this. Nines. Nines are good. Please call, sir. I need to feed my dog. Thank you. I wonder what we got looked like by there. I imagine it's like, can't be an ace, can it? You couldn't have tagged for that long. Oh, <laughs> the pocket four is called out. We have a non-believer in the pool, guys. Does does indeed call out with pocket fours. Witty Tornado asks, how did you learn the Bluff the Spot Academy where to start? I assume, um, I mean, are you talking about how I learned to bluff or like how I learned through buff bluff the spot? I assume, um, I assume it's like through bluff the spot. Uh, what did we do here? We're just going to barrel off actually. Pretty sure. Um, well, I, I, I applied in like the start of 2021 to bluff the spot. I, really, I applied it like, you know, I was looking for a CFP, uh, heard, heard a bunch of good things. Friend recommended me to them. Uh, actually not. Lasty not. Actually, I actually am going to blast off on this. Cool. Um, and I got accepted. I was like playing 15L. I mean, it really depends on your situation with, with the CFP. I know for me, it would make like a ton of sense. I didn't want to pay for hourly coaching. I wanted like coaches that were incentivized to like actually help me out. Um, and I was very, very lucky with a bunch of the guys I got to work with uh, at Bluff the Spot. Um, there's been a bunch of really, really good coaches that have helped me out. Um, and I mean, I'm now doing the same for a bunch of other students as well. So um, I know like all my students, um, I don't know, like most of the guys playing like anywhere you know, between like 200 to 500. Um, uh, and it's just a good group. Uh, it's just a really good group of people where, you know, you've got other students in like, you know, the similar spot to you are that are looking to improve and get better. Um, like, you know, getting to make friends where people are like in the same boat as you makes a massive difference. Uh, this is actually just gonna be a jam. Uh, this is double flush draw. We have all the equity in the world. Good luck us. Oh, we do get cold. Oh, it's such, that is like the worst case scenario to call. Oh, gross. I don't know why he tanked. It's so annoying. Uh, actually, I'm going to fold. Fold here, actually. Mm, don't love it, but uh, we are folding. <laughs> like so, I was like, we have all the equity in the world with Queen Nine, except against like that hand. <laughs> we have like, what do we have? Thirteen percent. Ugh, yuck. But um, you know, um, but yeah, there's also like you know, if you don't want to do a full CFP, like we've got stuff like the Academy, um. I, I produce like like uh, monthly webinars. All the couches produce like monthly webinars. Um, you still get access to uh, some of the chats and stuff. So it's also really good value for like step, like you know like dipping your toes in the water. Uh, but just the main difference between the academy and the CFP is the academy you don't get one on one lessons, uh, which are probably like the most valuable like lessons you get. Like you know obviously group lessons are super super cool too, um, but like getting to work one on one with a coach like just makes a like you know a really really big difference. So. All right, pocket tens, we, oh, this is gonna get dicey. I think that's the size we're gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna start with a small saver. We've made a set, uh, we just take it down. Pretty good result there with uh, pocket tens. Uh, question is what size in, straights are pretty relevant, so we can't overbet. We're just gonna go three quarters. Um, Uh, what am I meant to do here? I think I check. Uh, and now we're gonna over bit. And I will now be wagering all my chips. Gonna be buffing off King seven here as well. Oh, that does beat us. Good luck, us. Uh, 
Yeah, these bet buttons are not clicking what we want. Gotta be careful here. Like, yeah, like occasionally like we do get, like it does get a bit weird in zone when like a, a bunch of you are like a super, super deep. Um, normally if it's just like you and another reg that are like, you know, 800 big steep or something, like it, it, there's not, like, not as much incentive to like keep the stack and you, you're a bit more incentive to like rat hole. Um, but like quite often like fish get really deep in zone as well. Uh, and being able to stack fish in like four or five hundred big blind pots, like it's like a massive booster to your win rate. Um, what the fuck am I meant to do here with this? I'm just gonna check. Um, like it's just like a really, really big booster to your win rate. Um, I think we just start betting it. I don't know. We 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 have equity, so we're just betting. Um, Yeah, and like I'm mostly just considered about being marked. Is 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 the the main issue that I have. Um, like that's the only reason that I would consider like rat holing. I mean, or if you went another reg, it's super super deep. But again, like I do back myself in against most of the regs, deep. Um, like typically people play deep really really poorly. So like getting deep is normally just like super plus EV. Um, but obviously it's it, it it can like you can get into like some really really uh, shit spots. Like particularly when you have to like bluff off for like, I mean, I, I, I wonder if I can find the hand. Um, uh, we're gonna pot this. Like I had like this crazy hand um, when we were both like insanely deep. Um, let me see if I can find it. Like, yeah, there's just spots where it just can get, like you end up, I think in this spot here, I was versus like another reg. Uh, I can't bring it up. Um, uh, and we ended up having like, let me just check, it's on, is it on? I do stuff to keep the tables running, so. Gonna just make it just down here. Uh, where we had like Ace King, and I think we're, this was a, probably the day where I had, I think it was the same day where I had like a thousand bigs. Uh, oh, sorry, 2000 or something. Uh, that's a fold, that's a fold. Let me check in. Um, and what does it go? Goes like open three bet, we four bet. Um, and we actually face a, um, a five bet. Um, and we're like, you know, super, super deep. Like we're like, uh, like what he's like 3000. So he's like 600 bigs deep. Um, and we make the call with like ace king. Uh, we get this king high flop. Goes like small bet, we call. Um, pretty standard. There's gonna be a call up here. Pretty good turn. Uh, he goes small again. Could consider turning this into a bluff, but I think with our showdown, we are just gonna check call. Oops. And queen eight is good. Uh, and then on this river on this jack, he goes small again. Um, and it's, a, it's actually quite an interesting spot because like if we think about his five betting range, like this deep as well, like, you know, like most of his hands, like his, his, his range is basically like uh, aces, uh, ace king, uh, pocket kings, you know, um, maybe some queens, but like, you know, that's really about it. Maybe ace queens suited like once in a blue moon, but like his range is basically like aces, ace king and kings. And so when we're deciding what we're doing in this spot, I was going to just be... Uh, half pop. Um, we've got to think about like, you know, we can like versus like one quarter size and we just never folding. I guess it's just not an option. Um, like we, we get to chop here, like we're going to chop here a bunch. So like, obviously it's totally fine to just call. Um, but like when like the range is like a super, super tight, um, blockers start to make an actual bit of a difference. Like if you guys hear me say like blockers don't matter, I, I really mean that for like, uh, most spots, but in this spot like this, like having a king is like super, super important. It actually means that he can't have kings. Uh, and like one of the main main hands that we actually have in our range is um, is kings. So um, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, we've got, we've got one of these. Gonna be checking again here. Um, so I actually decided to turn this into a bluff because uh, we can get him to fall. If, and when he's meant to call, he's more likely to call ace king than he is aces. Like aces like really, really suck to call. He'd rather call ace king where he actually like makes it less likely that I have top set. Uh, unfortunately, the bluff does not get through up here. 
Um, but this is like one of those weird things that only happens like very now and then when you're like, like Omega Deep. Uh, so we rip, um, we get the fold. Um, and I'm pretty sure I looked it up afterwards uh, and it was it was indeed Ace King. Um, but like one of those things where like if, if you're not comfortable playing deep and you don't want to like, you know, if you get into a spot like that and you don't want to pull the trigger, like it just like, it's just like really, really bad idea to be playing that deep uh, to begin with. So 